Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of our Sims 4 Laboratory Challenge! Because I woke up today with a thought in my mind, friends. It was a thought that many of you have often put into my head about what has happened to our Warrior Cat series. Because indeed, in case you guys didn't know, yes, I have read Warrior Cats, which constantly surprises so many of you, which is hilarious to me, because Warrior Cats came out when I was a kid. <laughs> So I read the very first original books of Warrior Cats when I was probably younger than some of you. So yes, I have read Warrior Cats and we happen to have many Warrior Cats themed adventures here in our Pixel Biology channel. So if you really want to get into all sorts of drama and chaos, including a cat clan who lived in the forest and ended up being hit by meteorites, that's a bit of a spoiler, but it's totally worth watching to see, uh, then you can definitely check out our Sims 3 Warrior Cat series that we have. And I have been thinking about it and reminiscing over how much I wish Sims 3 would work for us. And while I was thinking about it, I had a stray thought. Or a stray cat, you could say. And that thought was... You know, what would have happened if Firestar had grown up and Spotted Leaf had been able to be his mate and they had had kittens? I'm not going to say anything more about their fates other than just what would happen if these two had kittens, because I don't want to spoil it for any of you who haven't dove into those books yet. Uh, but once the idea hit me, I knew we had to try it out. We had to go ahead and dive in and we needed to see what Spotted Leaf from the original Warrior Cats books and what Firestar, also the main character of the original Warrior Cats books, would have had if they had kittens together. Uh, so that's what we are doing today and we are indeed using The Sims 4 this time around because they do have very interesting pet genetics that link the genes to the coat colors that kittens can have and I think that that's really cool if you want to follow a more genetically accurate way of trying to go ahead and have your pets so to say like have babies because you're not going to mix like the stripes of the tabby over all of these beautiful spots that we have on our tortoise shell with spotted leaf here however I'm hoping I can get Sims 3 working and you guys can join me for a truly catotic adventure in our Sims 3 create a pet series where they do let you kind of mish and mash all of those different layers so we could end up with a like tortoise shell with tabby stripes I think that would be so much fun to see these two have kittens again in Sims 3 and what those kittens would look like, but I wanted to contrast it with what they would look like here in Sims 4, so that is why we are here first. Also, I need to see if I can get Sims 3 working, gosh darn it. And I was really surprised I was testing this, you guys. I'm gonna be honest, I got a little emotional because being able to see like, oh, they would have had this kitten made me realize how different the story would have been and how much like fan fiction and role playing I did when I was a young teen in Warrior Cats just rushed back to me. And I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on what adventures the six little kits that we are about to have would have gone on if you were in charge of their story. So without further ado, I wanna say a big thank you to the original creators of this beautiful example of Firestar and this beautiful example of Spotted Leaf. There are so many great examples on the gallery. I went ahead and picked out ones that seemed the truest to what you could actually find on the official art for the cats, but they can always change. So I just kind of picked the ones that I thought kind of fit what I was going for. So Dolphin Simmer 13 created Firestar and we have Karim Sight who has actually created Spotted Leaf. So thank you guys so much for putting those up on the gallery because now we're going to go ahead and see what kittens they will have. And never fear my friends, I do indeed have a random generator prepared for popping out warrior cats names to go with all the kits. So all right, <clears throat> let us assume that we were able to give a shiny thing to Spotted Leaf and Firestar, Spotted Leaf. Let's go ahead and see what kind of kits they're going to have. I'm actually really excited about this. Uh, Firestar has a good, yeah, good fluff, good fluff on his fur. He's got a wider face. And so if the kittens have wider set ears and kind of a thinner muzzle, we can assume that they take after their mother, Spotted Leaf. So let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna, we're gonna mix things, little mix breed. And here we go. Oh, you look just like your dad. 
<laughs> so here we go. The first of their kittens is going to be a little boy. We'll randomize his skills. He is playful, he is a free spirit, and he is aloof. And our random generator says that he is actually Dawn Mist. What a cruel cool name. So this is going to be Dawn Mist. There we go. And so he's going to, I mean, he's obviously Dawn Kit now, but he will grow up into Dawn Mist. And we will age him up and see what he looks like as an adult and which parent he takes after, after we finish popping out the rest of the kits. Let's actually go over to Spotted Leaf because she's the one like having the kittens. And then, first example, oh, they have a little boy, you guys. <gasps> what if one of their kittens has one color eye like mom and one like dad? Oh my gosh, I don't know how far I can handle that. And the next one looks like dad too. And this is actually a lovely, lovely little girl, Tabby. Female orange tabbies are very uncommon in real life. And she is actually fluffy, playful, and aloof. And her name is going to be <gasps> Daisy. So we've got Daisy and then what was the other half of her name? Daisy Shadow. Okay, that's really cute. Oh my gosh, I'm actually having so much fun making these names. I cannot wait to see what you guys would come up with like for their story or if you have a fluffy, playful, aloof kitten. What if she's playful so she wants to play with the other kits but she's also aloof so she like pushes all the other cats away but then she's constantly lonely. Oh, you could just write so many stories with just a little bit of the seeds of inspiration from the random generators. I'm telling you guys. All right. Well, we are not done yet. Let's go ahead and continue having a few men. <gasps> is gonna almost there oh my gosh the next little one looks nothing like either of them oh she's so cute so this one my friends is going to be meadowfall what a cute name and meadowfall is actually a glutton who is clever and curious oh i wonder if her hungry tummy actually gets her into all sorts of trouble so she's constantly running off searching for food where she shouldn't holy cow this is so cute Oh, I'm feeling a lot of inspiration. I had no idea this was going to help me feel like I really, 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 really wanted to dive into our cat stories again, but here we are. All right, let's keep going. Oh man, and if you guys have other suggestions for cats we could do this one is going to be, are we gonna have any that look like Spotted Leaf? No! <laughs> another little girl who looks just like her dad and her name is going to be Shadow Demon, what? Did this just take a very dark turn? Is this like my Wilder Myth story where we had a bunch of heroes who ended up having like an arc villain for their son? What? But Shadow Demon is affectionate and a free spirit who's a glutton. <laughs> How did she earn the name Shadow Demon if she's just super friendly and affectionate? Inquiring minds must know. We need her story, you guys. We need, how do you get the name Shadow Demon, but you're just the most affectionate, loving little thing in the world. Oh dear. That could either go really dark or be really hilarious. I wonder if she got the name Shadow. Maybe she just like had an all black coat when she was born and, or a gray coat, and then it changed colors somehow over the course of her life. Demon though, maybe she defeated one. I, I don't know. I've really got to kind of stretch my creative thoughts there. All right, let's go ahead and pull up the next kit. And I was so excited. All right, next little one is going to be <gasps> a tortie. Oh, and I just realized that most of the kits actually have Spotted Leaf's eyes, which is adorable. A tortie boy? I don't think you can have tortie boys, like genetically for cats. But here we have Dark Rose. I'm just gonna roll with it. So now we have Shadow Demon and Dark Rose, and I've not usually seen like Rose given to a male cat. However, you know what? Dark Rose has a coat that normally only female cats have, and Dark Rose is also exceptionally spoiled and skittish and a glutton. <laughs> Why is all of that so cute? I am so curious about how their stories would work out. I feel so inspired just to like do little tiny short character development stories with them. This is so delightful. Dark Rose, I think you're repping some Pride Month here somehow, my friend. All right, and we're here for the very last kit. Be fun. And I think, oh my gosh, if we had a fluffy tortie like this, I think I would like die. It's so freaking cute. 
Holy cow. All right, Firestar, step in. Oh, and we finally have one who has his color and his eyes, and this is a boy. He looks really prideful. What is? What are like his traits? Oh my gosh, he is. Look, he's aloof, and he's mischievous, and he's curious. And his name is actually Echo Flood. So saith the Warrior Cat's random generator. Well, heck. <laughs> There we go, you guys. Okay, so here we have four tabbies, one torty, and then one metal fall with her beautiful, beautiful, beautiful green eyes. I'm such a sucker for green eyes. Chips has green eyes, just so you guys know. Surprise, surprise. Uh, but we have the lovely little, what would I even call this coloring? Kind of like a, an elm? like an American elm sort of color. Oh, I've clearly been playing too much house flipper. But we have all these little ones. Let's go ahead and grow them up. And then I might even randomize like the clothing options just to see if that gives us a bit of their personality or what kind of story they could have. And then I'm going to be jumping up and down so excited to see what you guys come up with as short little just story ideas, like just a sentence or two if you want of like, oh, I think Don Mist got his name because this is the reason. All right. Oh, he's so fluffy. He's so cute and fluffy. Oh my goodness, Dawn Mist. So let's say he grew up and then I'm going to roll my random or the dice of destiny. And it says three. We're going to randomize the pet clothing and we're going to say that something about the item that lands on him tells a little bit of his story. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> We've got something going on with all of this. We have got like a bird beak, so I guess he's really good at maybe hunting at dawn, and a yellow bandana and a blue shirt. Maybe that has something to do with the mist. I'm gonna rely on you guys to help me like figure all of that out. Um, Cause that's definitely perplexing me, but there we go. So now we have like his story with the pet clothing and then how he normally looks. All right, dawn mist. You've got some stuff going on, friend. Daisy Shadow, Dice of Destiny. Ooh, Dice of Destiny almost fell off the table. Oh, she's so cute. She looks a lot like her mom in the jaw. And then for her story, we're gonna roll four times. I'm gonna switch over here. One, two, three, four. <gasps> what? Okay, a little dinosaur outfit. And I think she's also wearing the shark outfit. Is she still, oh my gosh, she's wearing like a lot of stuff under this. Okay, the snow popped up for just a second. So something about shark, something about a bow, but most of what defines Daisy Shadow's story has something to do with like a terrifying giant monster, I think. All right, you guys, you need to roll with this. You need to help me come up with their, their tales. Given enough time, I, I too would do this. And then Meadowfall. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her long tail. She's very pretty. Wow, I love the coloration of her nose and her eyes, too. She's a very lovely cat, and I would never have thought that she'd be, like, Spotted Leaf and Firestar's child. All right, roll again. So we're going to roll five times. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Rabbit ears! Rabbit ears and a little bell collar. Meadowfall. Maybe she really, really loves hunting rabbits. I love that actually. That's so adorable. I forgot how freaking cute that was. And then Shadow Demon, what on earth was your story, friend? You grew up into a very big, strong looking cat with a long, fluffy tail. What is your story when it comes to how you earned your name? Booties? He is just the most nondescript cat. Is he just an affectionate cat that somehow got the name Shadow Demon because like, I don't know, the medicine cat or leader was having a bad day? <laughs> like, <laughs> he looks nothing like a demon. Hang in there, buddy. And then we have Dark Rogues, who again, I think is repping some Pride Month stuff going on as our male torty, who's extremely spoiled and skittish and a glutton. And we're gonna go ahead and roll the dice two times. One, two. <laughs> then he ends up with a rainbow butterfly fairy outfit. All right, Dark Rose, I have never had a cat tell me so clearly where their preferences lie, but here we are. 
I love it. Oh my gosh. Echo Floyd, I'm so glad we thought to do the clothes to give them a little bit more story. Because the cats, they can kind of look like cats. Just general, like cats. So it's nice to give them a little bit more of a backstory. Like here, with Echo Flood, who we are going to randomize. One, two, three, four. Oh no, Echo Flood lost an eye! <gasps> Drama! Okay, I have no idea how he lost that eye. But he did wear a scarf for the first couple times, so maybe it happened in the winter. But look at the family drama we have here now. With Dawn Mist, Daisy Shadow, Meadow Fall with those amazing ears. Demon, Shadow Demon. Rawr. Yeah, no. <laughs> Dark Rose and Echo Floyd. I love that. I love how the random generators just told us a huge set of stories for these cats and it set off my imagination like a wildfire. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this just really silly, playful little thought I had. I just wanted to try it out because I was curious and it paid out so much better than I expected. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, including hundreds of Warrior Cats themed adventures in our archives, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.